All right, and I just got this box in the mail uh, from Geckos, etc. I know they have more to their name, but I don't feel like trying to pronounce it. But they have very good customer service. The only thing I'm worried about is my FedEx person did not have me sign for this, even when I asked to sign for it. So that's not any bit good. So hopefully this animal's doing perfectly fine in here. Got a better knife than my other one. Here's their card. Now watch out for that knife. Let's see how the box looks. Oh, they actually have heating pads. Already doing better than uh snakes at sunset. Out of here. There she is. Hopefully she's fine. Oh, do not see any movement. She okay. She's moving. Can't see her head though, and I kind of do not want to get bit. But she's just a regular western hognose snake. Oh, I see her head. You can see it right there. Oh, she's coming out. A cute little hognose. She's a year old. She's 12 grams. And here's a heating pack. Really good heating pack. Still really, really warm. Though, so I guess she wasn't kept too close to it to be nice and cool. Because I know westerns don't have to be really that warm. It's pretty chilly out. But, good box, not just a typical deli cup. She looks pretty good. Oops, she's getting all defensive. <laughs> I'm not going to stress her out, because she's probably not happy about the ride. But I can say they have excellent customer service. They will reply to you whenever they can, and they'll keep talking to you the whole time. It's a little annoying ordering, but what can you do? I mean, that'd be my only quorum with them, is ordering is a little weird. But she looks really healthy. This is my first hognose snake. She looks really nice. She's huffy and pus puffy. So I'm pretty sure she's doing pretty well. I would like to hold her, but I don't want to risk a bite. Even though I know they barely ever bite, I'd rather not risk it and stress her out. I'm trying to feel her. She's not even really that cold. She actually is warmer than my... Corn snake. My corn snake likes to be very cold for some odd reason. He prefers his cold side of his cage. But as you can see, she's pretty good size, I'd guess. Like I said, I've never owned a hognose snake. I just wanted one to try out something new. And as you can see, she's really pretty. And now that she knows she's out, she's exploring a little bit. Pretty sure she pooped in her cup, though. But should be a good aerial view of her. So I definitely recommend buying from these people because, as shown, they already do better than Snakes at Sunset with how they care for their animals. Uh, I don't know if they sell anything other than hognose snakes <clears throat> and geckos. I know they sell a lot of geckos. They have a lot of interesting choices for hognose snakes and pretty good prices too. Uh, I don't. Uh, I think this was actually their last Western hognose snake that I could find. She was eighty-five dollars, fifty shipping. So a really good price. I was looking at other places, but they never messaged me back like underground reptiles and stuff. I messaged them, didn't get any messages, messaged other people. A lot of the other snake businesses are really bad with customer service. Like Snake at Sunset took two weeks to reply back to me after I ordered a ball python and asked them some questions on it. So if you're looking for a hognose snake, definitely get from them. They reply, I would say they're better than a lot of the snake people. Just because of that response, they will reply to you. They'll answer your questions. They're really good. So if you have any questions on her, I'm going to get her cage ready. Uh, leave me a comment and I'll get to it. Thanks for watching.